If you're new to SEO, you're probably asking yourself, how do I write a good piece of content that Google's actually gonna rank? In my last video, I showed you how to find the questions that people were asking on Google. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to answer those questions. And yes, we're gonna be using ChatGPT to help us along the way. We've been using this strategy for years inside my agency and getting amazing results for our clients. But I recently did an interview with Marcus Sheridan, who using the same strategy made over $100 million for his local pool company. So if you're skeptical, don't be. This actually works. The only caveat is you need to put in the time and effort and actually give Google time to index your pages. This can take anywhere from three to six to 12 months, depending on how much you're doing. If you're answering questions and writing blog posts every single day, you're gonna see results a lot quicker than someone who does it once a week or once a month. The ideal cadence is twice per week. That's what we do to get amazing results like these for our clients. Before I show you how to do this, hit that subscribe button. I post videos like this every single Monday. Okay, in the last video, I showed you exactly how to find questions that people were asking on Google. And as a quick reminder, here's what we did. We used SEMrush, or you can also use Answer the Public, but I'm just gonna use SEMrush in this case. You can go back and watch the other video if you wanna see the full tutorial. But I went to SEMrush, I went to content marketing, topic research, I typed in the topic of my business. I'm not a hot sauce business, but I have a friend who runs a hot sauce business. So we're using that as an example. So I'm just gonna click on this box. It's gonna open up all the questions that people are asking about habanero peppers. So the question that we're gonna be answering today in the form of a blog post is, what are some good foods to eat with habanero sauce? So we're just gonna grab that and we're gonna open up a blank document. You can use whatever you want. I'm using Google Docs. It's easy, it's free, and it saves it as you go, which I like because I always forget to save things. So now that we have that question, we're just gonna open up a new tab, paste that into Google, and we're gonna see what other questions people are asking about this topic. So you can see this section here, people also ask. Great, I'm just gonna paste that into our document here, and I'm just gonna do the same thing here with all these other ones that are relevant. And if these questions aren't enough, if you don't have enough of these questions, just click on this and then it'll open more questions here. So we're just gonna get a bunch of these questions. I think I have eight or nine, and I'm just gonna grab these and put these into ChatGPT. And I'm asking it, can you provide me with more common questions related to these questions? And then I'm pressing enter. And then it, this is gonna give us more of a breakdown for our piece of content. Okay, so now we have a ton more questions and we really have an outline of what are some good foods to eat with habanero sauce. So we're just gonna copy all of this and we're gonna paste it into our document. So this is gonna be your title. I'm just gonna mark this as H1 because that's your heading one tag. If you don't know what a heading one tag is, go into the description and you can get my free course called Understanding SEO and it'll explain all the technical things like heading one, heading two, heading three tags, all that stuff. And, and you should only ever have one heading one tag per page. So the rest of these are gonna be heading two or heading three tags. Okay, so I've decided that all of these are gonna be heading two tags. I decided that because we can have subtopics within these topics, which would be heading three tags. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the top three links here and we're gonna look for other questions that people are asking and just really analyze this content. So we're gonna open these and we're just gonna see what kind of other information is here. Yeah, so this right. is somebody answering this question on Quora. I'm just gonna copy all of this. I just wanna save this. Uh, I'm gonna go into ChatGPT and say summarize this article and we're asking it to summarize not to make it easier for us to read but so that we can train chat gpt to understand this topic a lot more in depth so we're just going to do that with the top three search results here and if you find that there's not a lot of good content in the top search results here you can always just scroll down and open up the next posts Okay, so now that ChatGPT is done, we're gonna go back to our document. We're just gonna copy everything how it is. We're gonna keep the H1 and H2s in there. And then we're gonna ask ChatGPT to write heading three tags or H3 tags for this outline. And then we're just gonna paste in our outline there. So we can immediately see here that it's actually giving us heading three tags. So let's just see if these make sense. So the main topic is what are some good foods to eat with habanero sauce? Then the heading two tag, the subtopic is what dishes can be enhanced with the addition of habanero sauce? And then the sub subtopics are elevating traditional recipes with a spicy twist, fusion cuisine, integrating habanero into diverse culinary traditions. So right there, we're talking about enhancing the food. Those are subtopics of the subtopic, which is a subtopic of the main topic. So already at this point, you can see that we're crafting an outline for a really great in-depth piece of content that likely answers this question better than any other piece of content that exists. Next, I'm gonna use this prompt. Okay, so ChatGPT is finally done. This took a couple minutes to do because it's a really long piece of content. I'm just gonna open up a new text document to paste this into, just literally copy paste there. So this is a 10 page article. This is insanely long and insanely detailed and you probably won't need all of this information in here. Let's just check the word count quickly. So 2,100 words is fantastic, I love this. So the next part here is up to you. You have to go through, you have to read this, you have to fact check it, do some research, and make sure that it is actually accurate. If everything is accurate, rewrite some of the stuff yourself, add in your own experiences, your expertise, and then you can publish that on your website. And if you notice all the H1, H2, H3s are gone, but if you hover over this here, you could see up here that is a heading one tag. You could 
do the same here. You see it's a heading two tag, heading three tag. So these tags are already set. So if you copy this exactly and paste it onto your site, all those heading tags should be there exactly as they are and appropriately. So again, this is a really lengthy piece of content. Go through it, edit it, because if you just post it like this, it might rank, it might not rank, but it's very obviously written with AI. So go through and edit this. And if you made it this far in the video and you haven't hit that subscribe button, come on people, what are we doing here? Let's go, subscribe, bye.